Hi, in this video we are going to discuss first order first degree homogeneous differential equation and its solution and uh, today we are discussing two problems from this section and lot more to come. To get more problems, please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends. Don't forget to enable the bell icon. Okay. Homogeneous differential equation. The equation of the form dy by dx equal to some f of x y where f of x y is a homogeneous function then we call this differential equation the homogeneous differential equation. Now how can you check function f of x y is homogeneous or not? For that we need to uh, take the function f of x y and we will substitute lambda x and lambda y for x and y. Uh, we will take f of lambda x and lambda y. Now if it is equal to uh, lambda is to 0 f of x y or if it is directly equal to f of x y we can say that the function is a homogeneous function of degree 0 okay now if it is x raise uh, lambda is to n it's a homogeneous function of degree uh, n usually in first order first degree uh, homogeneous equation uh, we should get the lambda is to 0 here that this will be uh, f of x y that is f of lambda x comma lambda y is equal to f of x y. Uh, now if the function f of x y is homogeneous we can say that this function is a homogeneous or this differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. Now how can you solve this? We will uh, use a substitution to solve this. We will make this homogeneous equation into a variable separable differential equation. Uh, by substituting y equal to vx, if you uh, uh, find dy by dx from this, uh, differentiate this, uh, dy by dx is equal to, we need to use a uh, product rule here, this first function into derivative of x is 1 plus second function into derivative of v, it is v plus x dv by dx. Now, uh, we will substitute these two things, that is, uh, y equal to vx and dy by dx equal to v plus x dv by uh, dx. Uh, here in the equation, the first becomes 1 v plus x dv by dx, which is equal to f of x comma vx. Okay, now we will uh, make an arrangement x dv by dx equal to f of x comma vx minus v. And uh, uh, now we will separate this. Uh, we can separate this uh, uh, in terms of variables of probable form. We can separate this in two variables x and v. Uh, then we can uh, proceed further by using variables of probable form to integrate this. And uh, after integrating, we want to replace this v as v is y by x in the answer. Okay, this is the procedure. We can do a problem here. Consider this question. Solve the differential equation x dy minus y dx equal to root of x square plus y square into dx. Okay. Uh, from this, we will find dy by dx. First of all, we will find dy by dx from this. Okay. For that, uh, we can take this term to that side. It is x dy is equal to y plus root of x square plus y square into dx and uh, now it is dy by dx is equal to we will divide with the x here y plus root of x square plus y square divided by x now we will confirm whether the function this is f of x y isn't it this is f of x y we will confirm whether it is a homogeneous function or not for that uh, we will substitute the uh, lambda x and lambda y instead of x and y uh, and obviously, uh, if all the degrees of this terms in the expression are same, uh, it may be, uh, chances are there, it may be a homogeneous function. We'll uh, check whether it is homogeneous or not. Uh, we can check now by replacing lambda x and lambda y instead of x and y. Now it is equal to lambda y plus root of lambda square x square plus lambda square y square divided by lambda x now this is equal to lambda y plus we can take lambda square outside from the root it will be lambda into root of x square plus 
y square divided by lambda x. We can take lambda outside from the numerator. Lambda into y plus x, uh, y plus root of x square plus y square divided by lambda x. Now we can cancel these two lambda x's and it will be f of x y. Okay, lambda x, f of lambda x, lambda y is equal to f of x y. This is a homogeneous function. Therefore, this differential equation is homogeneous. Okay, now we will make a substitution. We will substitute uh, y equal to vx and uh, dy by dx is uh, v plus x dv by dx in this expression. Now we can rewrite this as v plus x dv by dx is equal to instead of y, we will substitute vx, vx plus root of x square plus v square x square. Okay, here is a y. Here, here is a y, therefore it is v square x square divided by x. Now it is equal to v x plus root of, okay, from this we can take an x outside, x in the root of 1 plus v square divided by x. Now we will cancel this x after taking the x from the numerator. It becomes v plus root of 1 plus v square, isn't it? We will take x outside, x and x in the denominator, there is x, we can cancel that too. And uh, now it is v plus, v plus x dv by dx is this one. Now we can simplify this by cancelling v again. Okay, now we have x into dv by dx. We have x into dv by dx equal to root of x square plus, x really, root of uh, 1 plus v square. Now we will make this into a variable separable form differential equation. Now we can separate the variables here. This dv by root of 1 plus v square which is equal to dx by dx by x uh, by taking this root of 1 plus v square to the denominator and this dx and x to this side dx goes up and x is in the denominator now it is a variable separable we can integrate this to get its answer what is the integral of root of 1 plus v square we have a formula root of a square plus x square is uh, root of uh, log x plus uh, log x plus root of x square plus a square, isn't it? Now, therefore, it is equal to uh, log v plus root of 1 plus v square, its formula. And this, this is equal to log. We can write ln. Instead of log, we can write ln. Natural logarithm, ln. ln of x plus ln c. Okay. Now, we will combine this into ln of cx. Now, we take uh, exponential on both sides to cancel the logarithm v plus root of 1 plus v square is cx now replace v v what is v v is y by x isn't it v is equal to y by x so, uh, replace this y by x y by x plus root of 1 plus y square by x square which is equal to cx if you want you can simplify it again uh, it will be y plus root of x square plus y square all divided by x equal to cx and we can take this x to that side then it becomes y plus root of x square plus y square is equal to cx square. This will be the final answer of this particular differential equation. It is a homogeneous differential equation first order first degree homogeneous differential equation. Okay, we will move on to the next uh, question x plus y into dx plus y minus x into dy equal to 0. From this we will write uh, dy by dx for that x plus y into dx is equal to minus y minus x into dy. We can write this as x minus y isn't it? Minus. Uh, it is x minus y into dy. Now we find dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to, we can divide this here x plus y by x minus y. Okay, now it's a homogeneous equation, it's simple, isn't it? Lambda x uh, plus lambda y. Now it is equal to lambda x plus lambda y by lambda x minus lambda y. It is simply x plus y by x minus y, isn't it? It's a homogeneous. Okay, now we'll make a substitution. Uh, y equal to vx. Then dy by dx is v plus x dv by dx. 
Now we will rewrite this as v plus x dv by dx is equal to x plus uh, vx divided by x minus vx. Okay. Now simplifying this, we will get 1 plus v by 1 minus v by cancelling you know, x in the numerator and denominator. We can have like this. Now we will rewrite this, uh, uh, this as x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v by 1 minus v minus v, isn't it? Now we'll take uh, LCM here, 1 minus 1 plus v minus v into 1 minus v divided by 1 minus v. Now it is equal to, I'll simplify this, we'll get 1 minus 1 plus v minus v plus v square divided by 1 minus v. This is uh, 1 plus v square by 1 minus v. Okay, now we can change this into variable separable form. It is x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v square by 1 minus v. Now we will uh, rewrite this into uh, 1 minus v by 1 plus v square uh, dv which is equal to dx by x. Now we can integrate this by splitting the variables 1 by 1 plus v square minus v by 1 plus v square into dv which is equal to dx by x. Okay. Now we can write this as integral 1 by 1 plus v square dv minus integral v by 1 plus v square dv which is equal to integral dx by x. Now, the integral 1 by 1 plus v square is tan inverse v, isn't it? Tan inverse v minus. To make this into an integral, uh, 1 plus v square, its derivative is 2v. Uh, here v is the, therefore we need to multiply the integral by 2 and divide it by 2. Okay, now we can write this as, this is of the form f dash of x by f of x. Integral f dash of x by f of x, it is log mod uh, denominator. Therefore, it is log 1 plus v square. Okay. Uh, there is a 1 by 2 over here. 1 by 2. Now, it is equal to log x uh, plus I can take a log c here. Log c. Okay. Now, we can combine this log a plus log b is log a b. Log c x now we have tan inverse v minus 1 by 2. Therefore, we can take this 1 by 2 to the power of 1 minus v, 1 plus v square. Therefore, it is log 1 plus v square all raised to 1 by 2. Now, we can simplify this by combining these two. If you want to take tan inverse or if you want to uh, make a simplified form of this, we can take an exponential on both sides by taking this to the side. So, for the tan inverse of v is equal to log cx plus log 1 plus v square. It's root, isn't it? Now, it is log cx uh, into root of 1 plus v square. We will get like this log a plus log b is log a b. Now, we will take its exponential on both sides. e raised to tan inverse of v is equal to uh, cx into 1 plus v square. It's root. Okay, now we will rearrange re or resubstitute substitute uh, v as y by x. Therefore, it is e raised to tan inverse of y by x is equal to c into x into root of 1 plus y square by x square. y square by x square. Okay, or otherwise we can write like e raised to tan inverse of y by x which is equal to c into root of x square plus y square. Okay, by taking its LCM, LCM is x square and we will take x, x square outside the root, then for we can cancel with x, therefore the remaining answer will be like this, e raised to uh, tan inverse of y by x equal to c into root of, c into root of x square plus y square. Okay, this is the final answer. So, in this video, we discussed the two simple problems from homogeneous first order first degree differential equation and lot more to come. Please stay tuned to the channel, subscribe to the channel and share it to your friends. Okay, thank you.